Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm out on my daily exercise. I'm just walking through a residential area of Chorley Wood and what we're going to do in today's video, we're going to go and have a look at where the M25 crosses the Metropolitan Railway. So Chorley Wood is served uh, by the Metropolitan Line. Station opened in 1889 and the railway is just down there, down in the valley. So we're going to go and find that. But first, we're going to come to the motorway. So as we leave the residential area, come into this little woodland here. And um, you possibly can start to hear the sound of the traffic on the motorway. So we're going to go over, there's a footbridge just up here, which will take us over the motorway. And then we're going to go down and have a look at where the Metropolitan Line goes under the motorway. So this footbridge here, I used to, as I go along the M25 from time to time, for a while it was missing. They took the old bridge out and it seemed to take a long time to put the new one in. And it always used to make me think, when they replace this bridge, I have to go for a walk and see where it goes. So here we are, we're out today. I've worked out a little walk. So we're going to go over the M25 right now. So that way's looking down towards Heathrow. And just here is Junction 18 for Chorley Wood. And you'd also get off here for Rickman's work in that direction. Now down there is where the Metropolitan Line goes under the motorway. It's um, about there it goes under. And not particularly easy for me to show you from here. So what I'm going to do, as soon as we are off the motorway, we're going to go down through these woods here and we're going to go and have a look at where the M25 goes over the Metropolitan Line. So get one last view of the M25. And then we continue along the footpath. Now, this footpath, we get to here and you sort of, your eye tells you to go straight on, but there is another footpath down here. It gets a bit quieter now, now we've gone down behind the sound barriers. I'm going to go down through these woods. And it won't be so long before I can show you. Hopefully we'll see a couple of trains on the Metropolitan Line. Walking through a wood of yew trees. Latin name is Tactus Bactica. Down through here. We've got um, big tall trees. Those big tall trees are beech trees. And then we've got the uh, non-native and evasive laurel bushes, which um, I did a video recently over in Chalvin St. Peter and Giles Cross called A Walk Down Over Way to the Unfinished Church. And I talked about um, that was somewhere where it was appropriate for laurel to grow. So if you have a look at link on screen now, you'll be able to see that video. Now, as we come down here, we're now about probably level with the motorway. Um, you can just see the sound barrier. You can probably still hear the motorway a little bit. Lots of young beech saplings are growing up. So the um, motorway goes up onto an embankment. The footpath starts to go downhill. And it almost feels like how can we possibly find a railway in amongst these woodlands, especially one of London's metro lines is in the Metropolitan Line, but trust me, we will. Because in a minute, this path is going to change very dramatically. Um, so, just you wait and see once we get around this corner. So, if we get to here, you can probably see there's a bit of a bridge. So, um, what we're going to do, we can actually walk under the bridge. So yeah, it just looks like a fairly normal bridge in that direction. But look at that direction. It's pretty massive. So let's go inside. And uh, it, it's incredibly vast, this space. This big, brutalist, um, just giant area. A bit wasted, really, under the M25. This is actually two bridges, because um, between the two carriageways, which creates this great big line down the middle. Uh, so the Metropolitan Line 
runs right through the top over there. So we're going to walk up to there. You may have seen I did um, a video where I did a very rare track bash. I went on the early morning train from Chesham to Watford and it takes the um, this side of the Croxley Triangle and in that video I did show you this view from the train so do have a look at the link on screen now you'll be able to see it but as we go down the hill of course the bridge is high and high above us it's just so vast it's almost like you can have like a concert or something in here with uh, you know you could oh there's a train look Metropolitan Line S stock train. You can have like um, put a load of seats, seats all down here, and have a big stage. Although noise might be a bit of a problem from the motorway, but it feels like yeah, you, know, you can have a concert here. I can imagine you hear about these illegal raves taking place. Not that I go to things like that, but I can imagine sort of places. I don't know, maybe they have one here. But it, it does seem, in a way, a little bit of a waste of space because it's so vast and impressive, and yet there's literally nothing here apart from a slightly more novel place to watch trains if they run steam on the Met. So uh, this I believe is Berry Lane we're coming to now so you can drive under here. There appears to be, well there's this sort of bank here, it's probably to stop uh, people racing cars up and down here and then there's these big gates on each side but um, you can walk through here as the footpath show. What we're going to do now, now we're down here on Berry Lane. Um, so then you've got more housing that way. Chorleywood itself is that way. I'm going to get up off the road. There's a classic sports car. And someone wanted to get their um, sound of their car in the video. So yeah, let's have a look. We're on this side. Give you a, have a look up there. Look how vast it is. Very impressive. And we're going to go up to the railway line itself. It's up here. This is where we could do with a train coming. What I'll probably do, when I get up here, if a train hasn't come, I'll just stop filming, I'll hang around, I'll wait and I'll film a train for you. And then um, after that, there's something else I'd like to show you to do with this bridge. So we continue up here. It's a lot steeper on this side. The other side was a more of a gentle slope. This one's quite a steep slope. And there's a view looking back to where we've come. So, here we are, at track level. If you look that way, I don't know if you see, camera's really not picking it out. There's a light, there's a train coming. Another bit of my train. Now when I came up here for the first time, I could hear people, voices, coming from over there and I thought they trespassing on the railway. But then I realised there's actually another footpath which runs along there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head back down to Berry Lane, I'm going to walk around and um, we're going to appear just up there and I'll show you this from the other side. So as the Chilton Railways class 165 heads north, we're going to go under the motorway again. We are now on the other side of the railway, so I just came up under the road bridge and just through the trees, be able to see that mega structure in a moment which carries the M25 over the Metropolitan Line and Berry Lane. So what I just want to do is just show you this one other place where you can see the trains. Here's quite a pleasant woodland. If you go up there you'll come to the housing estates up at Mill End which is a suburb of Rickmansworth. So I'm sure you can hear the motorway again by now. And here is that other bridge, or well, it's the same bridge but the other place you can cross or go under the motorway on this side of the railway. So we're coming to here, bit of a different sort of place compared to where we were last time. 
But if you look down there, that is where we were a moment ago. We were down there. You can actually see there's a sign. Um, even if the camera's not picking it out, it says M25 motorway. Just so any tube drivers or any eagle-eyed passengers can see exactly where they are. And here we are between the two bridges. You just see a car down there on Berry Lane. So this is where the Metropolitan Line goes underneath the M25. So I'm going to let you have one final look of that very vast area. And uh, perhaps next time you're on the train, um, why not look out and catch that glimpse for yourself as a child. That was always one of my favourite parts of any journey, getting on the tube at Amersham, going up to London. I always used to enjoy looking out to see that view. So as we leave the motorway and the railway and um, we head further into more woodland, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from near the Metropolitan Line and the M25, goodbye.